Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of Weekly Wishlist or Washout. If you're new to the channel, or if you haven't seen this series before, basically what I do is once a week go through all of the new beauty releases as seen on Trend Moon's Instagram page and decide if I'm going to be adding them to my wishlist or if I think it's a total washout. Before we jump in this week, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like this series every Wednesday on my channel. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video. So before we jump into the actual products, I have a couple of updates first on the ColourPop foundation. I did pick up a couple of shades. I forgot exactly which ones. I'll look at my order and I'll let you know down below which shades I ended up picking up. But I picked up the foundation. I picked up the face powder and the loose powder. So I will be doing a full video on that along with the concealer, the ColourPop No Filter Concealer, because I also have two shades of that as well. So I will be doing a full face of ColourPop base products just to let you guys know what I think of them. Um, I just got the shipping notification today. Today is Tuesday, so I'm hoping I can get them in by the end of this week. Normally they do USPS, it gets here fairly quickly. Um, so I do want to test out the foundation for a couple of days and then do like the video. Not sure I could do a full day wear test, but I'm gonna do my best. The next update I have is on the Thirsty palette. I was able to pick this up on the release day. I paid for two day shipping. I shouldn't have because they said like after the fact they were like that doesn't include processing time so I have no idea when I'm going to get the palette. I got the email that said your order has begun processing but I have no idea when it's going to ship. So I'm hoping I can get a full review video up by next week but I do want to get the palette in time to use every shade especially those weird like metallics in the middle row just to see what the hell is going on there so i do want to use the palette for a little bit before i do that video because for review videos like that i do like to do swatches and at least two looks but it is on the way the video will be coming all right so jumping into new products huda beauty is coming out with a loose powder i'm not really interested i haven't tried any huda beauty base products at all. I know they have that super super full coverage foundation. I haven't tried it. I actually just bought two loose powders so I really don't need loose powder. I still have like the peach perfect powder right here and the two that I just picked up are both drugstore and they're both really good. Like I've been living under a rock so I haven't been using this. Um, I finally got the air spun powder from Cody which it's infamous on YouTube, but I had never seen this in store before. I've only seen it online. So I was at a Walgreens that wasn't my local Walgreens, and I was looking around and they had a whole shelf of all the different shades of this powder. I picked out the shade Naturally Neutral. It's a perfect shade for under my eyes and for highlighting. Everyone and their mother talks about how like bad this smells and how it smells like old ladies. I actually really like the scent. I don't know how to describe it. It's it's like floral baby powder, if that makes sense. Because um, I remember there are so many YouTubers that said they love this powder, but because of the scent, they don't use it that often. It's a really good powder, and I actually like the scent, so this is a decent amount of product. I got this on sale. It was like $4 for this gigantic tub. This tub has 65 grams in it. Like, I'm not running out of this anytime soon. On top of that powder, tell me what rock I was living under where I didn't know that Rimmel made a loose version of their Stay Matte Powder. What? <laughs> this is my favorite drugstore face powder and I had no idea that there was a loose version of this. I actually picked this up on my trip. I'm going to be doing a couple of more travel themed videos hopefully next week so I could show you guys what I do when I travel, especially traveling for business because I did have to go on a business trip last week. But I was in a Target that was close to my hotel and I saw this and I was just amazed. I think they only had one shade and it's 001 transparent. It's not totally transparent. It's got like a little bit of a pinky undertone to it but it's a really good loose powder. I don't really like to do too much of a mattifying powder under my eyes, so I don't use it under my eyes, but I use it in like troublesome spots that I want to bake to really set it in, like my chin, I like to bake down here, I like to bake around my nose, and if it's a really hot day, like today where I'm going to die, because it's 7 a.m. and it's already 85 degrees. Just go ahead and hold my funeral, I'm not gonna make it home today. 
So what I'm trying to say is that this is a really good powder and I literally had no idea this existed. Like, where have I been living? Moral of the story is I don't need the Huda Beauty. I don't need it. Like, it's... You're good. Loose powder is something you really don't have to spend a whole lot of money on because there are amazing choices at the drugstore. Another item from Huda Beauty... Huda? Huda hat? Huda. Huda Beauty. Another item are some new mini liquid... I think they're liquid lipstick bundles? Oh, okay. So it's like... There are four little minis. Two of them are like matte liquid lipsticks and then two are glosses. Which is... This is a really cool idea. It's a cute idea. The swatches look nice. But the colors are kind of boring. I have all of these shades in my collection. I don't need this. I've already talked about the Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade palette in... I forgot which video it was. It was a while ago. Another weekly wish list or a washout. I do have a whole playlist of these videos. If you guys want to check that out, I will throw that up in the cards as well. But I talked about the palette. I never talked about the, I guess, liquid... I can't tell if these are liquid lipsticks or lip glosses, but again they're really boring like I'm sure for a brand new brand that's coming out establishing itself this is a good set of colors to have in your line but as a new release it's a little boring Too Faced is coming out with their new Born This Way concealer I <clears throat> where's my voice going their new Born This Way concealer I would be interested to try this out it looks like a decent amount of product in the actual packaging you've got a nice doe foot applicator and i'd be really interested to see how the formula is and they've got a decent shade range like looking at that full product array it doesn't really go like deepest of the deep but they've got a nice selection to begin with and they are extending the shade range of the born this way foundation so that's good we're moving in the right direction Kylie sneak peeked the new palette she's coming out with called the Sorta Sweet palette. I really have to see the shades inside this one, but the packaging looks gorgeous. Like, if the shades pull me in like the packaging, I'll be getting it. Like, let's, let's, let's be honest. Hello guys, it is future Monica interrupting this video. As soon as, like, I finished filming this video, the pictures of what the shades actually looked like got released, and like L-O-O-J-K like it's the most boring palette I've ever seen <laughs> I don't know what she was thinking I don't know how we go from like a yeah I don't know um I won't be getting this <laughs> just no Ofra is rebranding or something and coming out with finally some nicer packaging I never actually bought a full priced Ofra product before. I do have Rodeo Drive, the highlighter, but I got that in a boxy charm, so I'm glad I didn't have to pay full price for it. But the one thing about Ofra's as a brand is that they have really great products, but they're like in really shitty packaging. Like you're spending $30, $40 on a highlighter and it comes in a plastic tin that you would get from not even a tin like it comes in plastic like you bought it at the drugstore so i can see where they're coming from where this is probably going to be good for the brand but is it going to inspire me to buy anything at all from them no chrissy teigen is coming out i think with round two of a becca collaboration from the photo it looks like there's a liquid highlighter and then there's another like just individual highlighter i really want to see i don't really like liquid highlighter so i'm not going to be doing that one but i want to see what the individual like flying saucer highlighter is because i think that'd be nice i didn't get her first part of the collaboration just because i didn't think the shades would really work for me but I do want to see what that individual highlighter looks like. Smith Cosmetics brushes are now on Beautylish. I think I've heard of these. Aren't these like the really super expensive makeup brushes? Like Wayne Goss level makeup brushes. Honestly, I think the most I would pay for makeup brushes would be like Sigma level because those are excellent brushes. You don't even have to pay like for Sigma brushes because you do have a lot of great options. Again, you know, cheaper. ColourPop has a great brush. Where's my voice? Colourpop has a great brush line. Wet n Wild has a great brush line. For me, I just really like the Sigma brushes, but like you don't really have to spend a lot of money on brushes. So when it comes to like luxury brushes, I honestly haven't had a whole lot of luck. Because I did buy like a luxury Marc Jacobs brush once upon a time. Literally as soon as I opened the box, the brush fell apart. Like the end just fell right off the damn brush. 
I immediately returned that. That was an $80 brush. No. No, I am fine with my current brush collection. I will not be looking at this or Wayne Goss brushes or... Last but not least, Milk Makeup is teasing another Kush product. I really don't get the hype around these. Like the last one, it was just a mascara. Like, just because it says Kush on it, everyone's gonna run and buy it and be like, ooh, look at me, I've got this. Like, come on. Like, it's, it's honestly, it's just really stupid. Uh, so, whatever it is, I don't want it. That's everything for this week's weekly wishlist or a washout. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you did, and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye.